President Duterte's name is not on the ballot, but this is very much a referendum on his three years of very disruptive yet very popular uh, presidency. I think a lot of us were, we openly characterized the 2016 elections as some sort of a protest vote, right? The people were looking for a kind of heterodox alternative and eventually a authoritarian populist, right, to run the country because there was a sense that the liberal oligarchy that was running the country was not doing the optimal job. So three years in and after all of Duterte's promises, the question right now is are we going to affirm or are we going to reject that 2016 elections? It, was that an aberration, a historical accident that we have to fix? Or this is actually the beginning of a kind of a new era or new normal? Or as some would even say new abnormal uh, for the country. My worst fear is zero for the opposition. And it's a, it's, a, it's a disaster for any democracy because democracy is about symmetry. If you not, have no shadow government, how can you talk about a real democracy for that matter? Right? So even if you're not for opposition, even if you're for administration, you should be worried in a situation whereby, I mean, this is the problem with places like Iraq and North Korea, right? When by the leader gets 97% of the vote, right? Yes, there's elections, but there's no opposition, right? Siguro ho, dapat yung piliin ni, yung may taong, yung mga taong may respeto sa buhay. No, sila yung mga tao na nagpapahalaga sa karapatang pantao. Yung mga tao na handang ipaglaban, yung mga tao may hirap makagaya namin. Kasi, syempre pa, nakita naman natin itong mga huli na ang mga napapas lang ay mga maliliit lang. Ma, parang may peace of mind ka na. Hindi ka na parang dati na ba, masalubong mo lang. Oh, wala dapat to. Nangangamba ka na. Eh nung dumating si Presidente Duterte, ayun, medyo nabawasan ang krimen dito. 70% bawas na krimen dito. Pero kung nakakatakot ang martial law, mas nakakatakot kaming mamatay sa gutom. Kahit sino umupo, wala naman nagbago. Wala naman nagbago sa mag-umupo mga presidente. Ganon pa rin, mahihirap pa rin kami.